Julie here, one of the owners of Athletic Perfection, and just kind of share with you kind of how our household is handling uh, the whole quarantine um, situation. As far as me, I don't know about you, I feel like I'm in constant Zoom meetings, whether it's with my business partners, um, my staff, with uh, clients or athletes, and or with mentors, which where, where I'm trying to kind of learn how to navigate this whole system. So lots and lots of Zoom meetings. As far as my kids, um, my I have a sixth and an eighth grader, and they go to St. Bernard School, so they log on um, every morning, and they go to school from eight to 12 online, and then um, they kind of have to check back in at two, um, with the teacher and show that they did all their work. So I'm super happy with what St. Bernard's has got them going. It's a private school. Um, my daughter, uh, sophomore, is a uh, goes to Tracy High. They aren't providing anything. I kind of let her soak last week and they do nothing. This week I did make her get on a schedule. She can sleep till 10. Um, after that, she has to get up and do two hours of work and two hours of working out. Um, so she does two hours of Khan Academy and then she's kind of just doing more like SAT prep, uh, math and English stuff. So if you're not familiar with that source, please you can take a look at that if you're looking for something to do with your kids that doesn't cost anything it is free um, and it's great and then um, and then she does her her workouts um yesterday she went for a six mile run in an hour and she's so she's pretty she's pretty disciplined with working out and then my oldest daughter is a freshman in college and this would have been her spring break week so she's kind of just enjoying that and letting and kind of you know moving back into the house and then um she will take all of her classes from ucsb online starting next week um i did tell her to up her units she was only taking 16 so she up to 21 units take advantage of this online schooling what else is she gonna do so she's doing that our house is pretty um quiet i would say like in work mode till 2 p.m and then we all kind of like are done kind of doing our tasks for the day. Um, I do not make them breakfast. I do not make them lunch. They're kind of on their own. They do that, but we do all, you know, come together and I will make dinner um, and we have a family dinner. Um, spike ball is one of the things we got off Amazon, which they play in the backyard. So look that up. It's a really fun game. You can get that sent to your house. So having fun with that. Love to hear what you guys are doing. Comment below with any ideas you have or any suggestions that we gave you um, that are helpful. I know my partners are going to be following me here with their ideas and they have some younger, um, younger children so maybe some more ideas for you and just hoping that this makes us all kind of feel connected and kind of feel a little bit more human in the way we're all handling all of this so love to hear what you guys are it's doing. Jen one of the owners at Athletic Perfection um, just kind of gonna give you a couple tips on how we're getting through this shelter in place here at my house and I'd have to say that my biggest tip and the answer to that is um, sticking to a schedule it's the only way that we're able to do this daily routine here in my house um, so we do uh, my kids have to get up at a certain time each day and spend a certain amount of hours homeschooling and um, then we do um, a certain amount of time each day outside rather it's uh, going for a family bike ride or just playing sports here in our backyard um, <clears throat> but we definitely get outdoor activity in each day. Um, and then, you know, our evenings are full of family time, truly um, watching movies, playing board games, um, spending time together, and then normal shower, dinner, bedtime um, at the normal hour. I just um, would so, oh so highly recommend don't let these kiddos stay up all night and sleep in all day. Um, they do need to feel um, that sense of normalcy and that sense of scheduling. That way when we do leave the home and we're able to get back to school and work, um, that it's not a, a huge change for them and they'll be able to adjust very easily. So that's my goal here with my family. Um, it's working, we're doing great, um, everybody's healthy. So uh, we can't wait to get back into our, into our gym and see everybody. We definitely miss everybody and hope you all are staying healthy out there. Hey guys, it's Andrea and um, for my family, how we've been, you know, getting through the shelter in place. It's not, you know, crazy unchanged for us because my kids are younger, not in grade school age. Uh, so some things that we've been doing for our little ones is we've been potty training our two-year-old. So now is a better time than ever to do that, parents, because obviously you're not going to be leaving the house and risking accidents happening. So we've been doing that all week and getting pretty successful at that. Um, you know, just fun activities for them. Yesterday, my four-year-old and her daddy went on a picnic in our backyard, and they made a bunch of snacks, and they went on a picnic in the backyard. So super cute, just family time for them. Um, for me personally, I like to get out and go on a run if I can. Um, when I go on runs, I do like to listen to a book on Audible. So instead of listening to music, it's kind of, 
you know, I get my, my body gets a workout and I get those endorphins going and that's nice. And then I also, my mind is, you know, educated or just, you know, I get to get lost in a book while I'm doing that. So, you know, give that a try. If you're out on a walk or on a run, try to listen to a book instead of a, um, <laughs> instead of, thank you for clearing your plate instead of your music um my family we like to go to mass on sundays you know to uh kind of just reset for the week and you know get our minds and our spirits in the right place uh, and because we weren't able to do that last week um i watched a mass on youtube on sunday when my daughters were taking their naps you know just super quiet and peaceful in the house in my living room just watched a mass and um, it was it, it was nice. It had you know the very same like calming and reset and spiritual effect that you know, we were at now. So uh, if you're a church guard, I would suggest trying to do that this coming Sunday. Um, other than that, you guys, honestly, I think that it's just now is a great time to remember to enjoy your um, families together and and to just enjoy that family time play a board game watch a favorite movie together go on a walk together um and you, you can see my background moms at the end of the day pour yourself a cocktail maybe you you, you earned it <laughs> all right guys so um in you know enjoy your family time together and you parents with toddlers out there potty train you can do it we're all doing it together we're not gonna go outside we're not gonna have any accidents so let's get it done